Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Who is hello. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good. Can you hear me? Oh, hello. Yeah. Good. Okay. Perfectly or? Good. Or? Perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, here. Okay. How was the day? Was it good? Good, good. All right. The client too, cool. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So, it means you had a good, good time. Okay, let me check. Okay, now we have Manuel, Gustavo, Claudia, Francisco. We'll see how many we get. Okay, we're going to be sharing some I'm gonna go to the dashboard. Okay, what's in the name? Many more we have. Okay, so we're gonna start sharing the screen. Here we're gonna go to share. Okay, there you go. Okay, for today we have a reading. We have a reading station. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, in this lesson, okay, we're going to make a little move. Okay, good. Maida, can you please read the, the lesson objective in 1.13? In this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. Exactly, right? So we'll be able to read an article and then we are going to answer, okay, some questions about the, about the reading, right? Okay, so that before, 
Uh, minor, what is your name, your name from, Minor? Do you know? No. No? Okay. No. Manuel, do you know the meaning of your name? No. I no? know. Okay. And Francisco? Hello. Okay, do you know the name of your, uh, the meaning of your name? Mm, I think so. Okay. Uh -huh. What is the meaning? J A V E A R. Okay, and the significado, what is that meaning? Uh, excuse me, but nah. uh, all people uh, call me Javier. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, well, it's okay. And Javier, what is the meaning yes. of Javier? ¿Qué significa? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, here it says Spanish from Xavi. Look, it's una, un derivado de Xavi, right? That's why, that's why they use in, Cat, in Catalan, look, Xavi, which is the same thing when you say Javier, right? And then this is the Spaniard, the Spaniard form. Okay, derived from the Basque. Viene de los, no, de los países vascos, look. Place name Exaveria, meaning the new house. Ese es el significado de Javier. Okay, the new house. This was the surname of the Jesuit priest. Okay, Saint Francis Javier, right? Era como un apellido de San Francisco Javier. Okay, who was born in a village of his name, of this name. He was a missionary to India, Japan, China, and other areas of East Asia. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know who else. ¿Quién sabe el significado de su nombre? That wants to share. Pablo. Let's see, Pablo. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, Pablo. Paul. Okay, so Paul. Look, from the Roman family, named Paulus, which means small or humble. El significado es pequeño o humilde. Pablo, right? So that's a meaning in Latin, in Latin language. Paul was an important leader of the early Christian church, according to Acts in the New Testament, right? He was a Jewish Roman citizen who converted of Christianity after the resurrected Jesus appeared to him. After his tra this travel to uh, the Eastern Mediterranean as a missionary, his original Hebrew name was Saul. Okay, good. Tatiana, let's see if you have a, a meaning. Good night. Hello. Hi. So let's say Tatiana, gender. It says Tatianus, a derivative of the Roman named Tatius, Tatius. This was the name of a third century saint who was martyred in Rome under the Emperor Alexander Severus. She was especially venerated in Orthodox Christianity and the name he was, uh, name has been common in Russia. Okay. So this is the story, the story of your names. Okay, so you can find the, the meaning of names, right? In, let's say in, uh, this is the behind the name. And there are many pages where you can find it. Okay, what is the relation of this uh, 
uh, page that I am presenting with today's class. It says, in this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and answer some comprehension questions. And the article is, what's in a name? Okay, what's in a name? And then, we have this, what's in a name? Okay, Manuel Gutierrez, can you please read the no. topic? Yes. Can you read the topic and the introduction here? Look at the names in the actual actual do article. you know article article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Okay. What are they like? What are they like? What are they it's like? their personality, right? Okay, good. Now let me see, we have... Um, Paolo, can you please read the first two lines? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first in is an important part of your identity 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 correct okay good so because you know remember that our name for us is very important right we feel good when the people use our name okay so then this is for example if i if you say hey hello luis then you feel oh good he knows he knows my name Okay, we feel nice, we feel important, right? Okay, good. And what about, uh, let me see, Tatiana, read these three lines okay. right now. Okay, right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why, why are these names popular? And why are names some names unpopular? Okay. For example, what are some uh, popular names here in El Salvador? What is a name that people uh, use? Jose. Maria. Jose. Maria. Guadalupe. Uh -huh. Jose. Jose. Uh -huh. Jose. Maria. Carlos. Carlos. Manuel. Which one? Okay. Um, Manuel. Manuel, uh -huh, Manuel, yes, it's common. Uh, Rodrigo, right? Rodrigo is also common. What else? Mario. Which one? Mario. Mario, yes, Mario is also common. What other name is very, po not common, but popular, popular. That many Guadalupe. people. Guadalupe, right. Okay, so these are names, you know, that are related sometimes to to family or uh, or saints, right? Like Maria and Jose, right? The Virgen de Guadalupe, Virgin, Guadalupe's Virgin. So we use a lot Guadalupe, right? Fatima, Fatima because of the Virgin too. Okay, good. Then uh, let's see, Francisco, Javier, would you please read the other four lines, names? Okay, names can can become popular because of fam, famous actors, TV or book uh, characters mm -hmm. or athletes. Popular names such as very positive things, and popular names such as negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about uh, names from a recent survey. Okay, very good. Okay, these are some names, right? For example, the opinion, opinions about names from a recent survey. What is a survey? 
encuesta, right? Encuesta. Yes. Okay, good. So we have boys' names. For example, we say, for example, George. He says it's average and boring. Okay, and this is like, you know, the opinion, like here says positive things, negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about the name. Okay, for example, when you hear in English, when you hear the name George, you think about a person that is um, average, you know, standard, right? Uh, that is a boring person. Okay, uh, when you hear the name of Jacob, okay, creative and friendly. Okay, for example, in Spanish, when you, what is a name that you hear and that you consider that is, you know, uh, boring? <laughs> Who has a friend? with the name of a poem, a poem in Spanish. Anybody? I don't understand. You don't understand? No, I don't. Eh, ¿Alguien tiene el micrófono en Okay, okay, yes. Okay, the question is, ¿estos nombres están relacionados con algunas características de las personas? In English, if you say George, es una persona yeah. que suena promedio o aburrida, right? Okay. ¿Cuál es un nombre en español que sonaría de hombre, que sonaría así como, ah, no muy, not so exciting, no muy así, no muy, uh, let's say, alegre, right? Una que suena como un poco apagadón. No sé. <laughs> Probably, when you say okay. José, yes, maybe, right? Jose. Jose, uh -huh, Jose, then, uh, ah, then you're going to chip it. You <laughs> lie. Uh -huh. <laughs> or when you say, probably, what do you say? You lie. Oh, Julio, right? Julio, uh -huh. say Julio, yeah, Julio sounds like that, right? Okay, don't <laughs> problem, don't problem, don't problem. I don't like, I don't like that question. ¿Cuál es su nombre como Jacob? Por ejemplo, como un nombre que suena creativo, friendly. What's your name? Creative and friendly in Spanish. Uh, okay, Re remember that this is something, uh, how can I tell this? Uh, it's subjective, right? Todo esto es subjetivo porque es, depende también de, de, de algunos gustos para nombres y todo eso, right? So it's just an exercise, okay? Por ejemplo, cuando alguien tiene amigo que le digan, hey, ahí viene Jacobito, okay? Cuando viene Jacobito, Probably sounds like it's a person very friendly, probably, uh, I don't know, funny, okay? He tells jokes, creative. What else? A name that sounds friendly? El Brian. Brian, uh -huh. for example, Brian, yes, when you say, hey, El Brian, right? Yes, Brian sounds friendly. Hey, for example, look, Michael in English sounds for a person who is good looking, athletic. You can see this sometimes in movies, right? In movies it says that they choose these names, right? Probably in the real life, the person has a different name that doesn't go with that person. Uh, Stanley is a person who is nerdy, right? A person that studies a lot. And it's serious, right? It's sound, sound. Uh, for example, old fashioned is a girl's name. Betty sounds like old fashioned, average. Emily, independent and adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. Okay, Jane would be, you know, like, uh, like one in Spanish, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicole sounds like beautiful and intelligent. Okay, so these are, you know, uh, people's appreciation, right? It's not a fact. No hay estudios que digan esto así es, right? It's just look in the information here. Names can become popular because of famous actors. 
Okay. ¿Cuántos nombres de, de uh, let's say, de actores famosos conocemos, conocemos aquí en el país? Que se los han puesto a personas aquí en el país. Actors or actresses. Think of name. Luis Miguel. Ajá, uh -huh, that's one. Okay. My cousin, my cousin, mm -hmm. uh, his name is Ademir. Ademir Barbosa. Player. Yeah. He's a yeah. play, Brazilian player, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I remember a player like that. Uno de los nombres que yo recuerdo como futbolista, right? So you see, that's why esto es, no es algo como un estudio que esto signifique eso. Es por esta, pues, esta razón, the names they can become popular because famous actors, TV or book, book characters. Leyeron un libro, a usted le gustó el nombre de esa novela que se leyó o el libro a un papá y le pone el nombre al hijo o a la hija, right? O un atleta, right? Artist. Okay. The popular names suggest very positive things. Con popular, for example, here there are, uh, I, I met two boys. One his name was one of them was Ronaldo and the other one was Romario. And they were brothers. Okay? One of his name uh, one was Ronaldo and the other was Romario because his father obviously was a Brazilian fan, right? And then he gave the two names to, to his children. Okay? Then and for, in this case, you know, it's because of the ability to play soccer. Okay, any other experience that you know, friends, uh, sons of friends, that you know with names of famous people? My friend name is Gabriel Omar. Batistuta, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yes, you see, this is Gabriel Omar. Yes, that's another one. Okay, yes, there is always something like that. Okay, another one? And then what happens when you what happens when you, when you hear, for example, say, hey, Jenny Gabriel Omar, ah, hey, no. We we think that he's probably a good soccer player, right? So we imagine or we have that this person will we related with that. Okay, we relate the name with that ability. Okay, another one. Another one. The ex personal experience. My name, uh, my son is named Jared Emanuel. Which one? Uh, Jared. Jared. Oh, that's a soccer player. Uh -huh. okay. Jared Leto. Ah, oh, okay. Joker too. Okay, very good. How old is your son? Manuel, how old, how old is your son? One uh, year. Or six months? Five years. Five years now. Okay, good. Five years. It's very young. Okay, good. Then we have popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Okay. Imagine somebody, if you give the name of uh, Donald, for example, in this moment. Huh? If you meet a person with the name of Donald, what do you think? Huh? The dog. <laughs> yeah, you go with the dog, right? Probably not. It's a silly dog. Okay, so Donald. Uh, what else? What is another name with a negative that you will hear probably? If you hear, for example, name Adolf or Adolfo, right? Who would you relate it to? Hitler, right? I have a friend whose name is Stalin. Okay, so really, his name is Miguel Stalin, right? And then when you, okay, Miguel is fine, but when you hear Stalin, then you go with the Russian, right? So you make that connection. Okay, uh, what else? What is another name? Damian. Dan, uh, Damian, right? When you have Damian, oh, that sounds like, you know, like the prophecy or something like that. <laughs> okay, but is only in our mind, right? Is that is something that, for example, is how we relate it. Okay, good. Unpopular names suggest uh, negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree 
on the way they feel about their name. Here are some common opinions. That's why it depends on the language, right? In this case, probably Jorge does not have the same reaction in Spanish like George in English. Because also here it says George, but you have George Washington, right? You know, he's uh, the first president of the United States. So this is probably a different connotation. Okay, good. Then uh, let me see. So, Carla, can you please read the last part of the paragraph? So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now may, might become popular in the future. That's good news for all, all the George and Betty's out, out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see, changes. Everything is, is not a it's not a fact. Not so nature, right? It's just about sensations and and things that people uh, probably how people react in some moments in in algunos stages of life, in algunos etapas de la vida. Uh, let's see, for example, the when you see a name that is popular now might become popular in the future. Okay, this is another thing, right? That sometimes you have uh, that the father's name is Luis, the son's name is Luis, and then there is another generation, and then they all, the, the, the other boy is also Luis, right? So sometimes in some Daura family. Huh? Luisa. Or Daura, Luisa. Which one? Luisa. 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 Ah, Luisa, uh -huh. yes. Yes. If it is a girl too, right? So then people go for. Great. I met a, I met a family with this tradition. Uh huh. The father was Luis, and the the the, the first. The two boys, Luis, uh -huh. and the daughter, Luisa. Luisa. Okay. So imagine this. That's what happens, right? That's why sometimes. That's what I say. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Okay, so it's, I think it's the same with Andres and Andrea, maybe, right? That sometimes because they, the father was Andres, then they give names. So, you know, this thing about names is very complex, right? So there are names that, and they also say the, the spelling too, la escritura, right? Uh, for example, now that I see Carla, Carla, your name is with K, right? But there, yeah. are, but there are some others with C, okay? So then it says, that's why when you say Carla with C or Carla with K, right? So then there are, but it's the same, uh, it's similar. The, the sound is the same, but the spelling, the spelling is different, okay? So let's, this is another, another difference in the names. Okay, questions about this vocabulary, people? Vocabulary, no pron no pronunciation, no. Okay, very good. Now let's go back and let's answer these questions. And I don't know if it is Alberto. Is Alberto here? I saw Alberto. Ah, oh, yes, please, Alberto. Okay. Now, what is the first question here? Your name is part of your identity, according to the reading, true or false? It's true. It is true. Okay, good. And Osmaro, number two. Number two, people often feel the same way about a particular name. True. True. Okay, people often feel the same about a particular name. True. Okay, um, let's say Claudia, yes, Claudia's here. Boys' names. It's false. It's false, okay. Juan, Juan Navas. 
big people are still naive for other family member. Mm, true. Okay, true. Okay, this one is a uh, often name after. Name after is como cuando le pone el nombre del, del papá o el nombre de la mamá. Okay, yes, yes, I am. Yes, for, you say, for example, uh, I, I, am am, name, I am named my father. After my father, correct. I am named after my father. Good. Uh, let's see here, Alan, number five. Alan, Alan. Okay. Alejandro, Alejandro Sea, number five. Opinions about names can change. True. That's true. Okay, let's see what we have. So number five is correct. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so these five questions are comprehension uh, questions, let's say, right? This is about this paragraph, okay? And then we have now how many points? 25 out of 25. Okay, 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 good. And then if we have no more questions, we're going to go to section two. Okay. And then Jefferson, can you read this objective here, please? Jefferson? No Jefferson. Eliel, would you please read the objective here? Yes. In this lesson, participants will Excuse me, excuse me. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using we edge question. We edge question words as well as statements. As a statement, right? So about jobs using WH questions. Okay, let's see the um, video. Now, before we play the video, let's check share computer sound and the volume. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. <coughs> How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation. Hi, everyone. Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because I don't. I don't care. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Wow. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Section 2. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, 
And I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. And what do you do? Okay. Here we have. It says, where do you work? Andrea, I work at Thomas Cook Brothers. Okay. Then, oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. Okay. The word cook, you know, that is a... Uh, uh, for cooking, right? But in this case, it's a last name. Okay, last name. And when you say uh, Thomas, uh, let's say Thomas uh, Lima, right? Or Thomas uh, Rodriguez. Cook, in this case, is last name. Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, Hamburger Heaven. You know what is Hamburger Heaven? How would you say the hamburger heaven in Spanish? El cielo de las hamburguesas. El cielo o el paraíso, right? Uh -huh. De la hamburguesa, right? Hamburger heaven. Okay. Questions about vocabulary from other expressions in the conversation? No. Nope. Okay, good. Then you can see the questions. Here, you say, where do you work? Now let me check. Okay, good. Now, I will, I will give you some sentences right and you have to guess which uh, job i am uh, describing okay so you listen to the sentences and then you can say oh, okay you are talking about a, a secretary you're talking about a doctor okay you're talking about a teacher okay any occupation or profession that you think I am talking about, okay? Uh, let's see, okay, for example, this person likes to help, uh, likes to help people, okay? Uh, it, in order to practice this career, this person has to study and go to the university. Okay, uh, this person can work in a public sector or also in a private sector. Okay, uh, it can be a woman or man. Uh, depending on the group of people that this person is helping, sometimes, sometimes, People think that women are better than men, okay? But there are some men that are also very good in this career. A, this career requests or requires a lot of effort, okay, from the person to help others. Okay, uh, you can be helping a lot of people at the same time. Teacher. Oh? Teacher. A teacher, yes, okay. 
you can be a teacher, right? So then, uh, because at the end, it's similar to other careers, probably, right? Like doctors, maybe, right? Or nurses, okay? But uh, when you say probably helping many people at the same time, probably doctors is not possible, right? Because health is more delicate, okay? So this is, you know, for example, how to describe a career. Okay, now I want you to take one minute, okay, or two, and write in your, in a notebook or think about three or four sentences to describe your career, okay? But don't, don't say it, okay? Only say the things that you do. For example, I love my career because I have to work with people. Uh, my career sometimes is a little bit difficult because I have to work with numbers, okay? Or because I have to deal with other people, okay? Four sentences to describe your career. Don't listen. Okay, ready? Okay, good. Then let's begin with Okay, uh, let's see, Claudia. I love my career because the students are funny. I must constantly learn and I have many vacation. <laughs> okay, me too. Okay, so what does Claudia do? The teacher. She's a teacher, right, Claudia? Yes. Okay, very good. Nice, thank you. Luis, Luis Alberto. Mm, 
my my career uh, apply apply applies uh, tax laws a lot mm -hmm. um in my career career um uh, had a manic uh, mathematic mathematical uh, calculations okay math calculations uh huh um see uh, the uh, uh, a lot of numbers a lot of numbers okay good okay anybody what does luis do stability uh -huh. what is the job no, no it's, not, it's not accounting right you said accounting yes accounting accounting, accounting. yes yes okay because so you he say accountant. tax okay taxes and accounting good accounting okay good minor I like my work because it benefits many people. Um, and everyone, everyone in it is very friendly. Very? Friendly. Proud. Friendly. 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 Yes, yes. Okay, friendly. Okay, what does minor do, people? I don't know. Let me shake your t shirt. <laughs> repeat. <laughs> repeat. <laughs> okay, more clues. Math pista, more clues. It's a collaborator. Oh. It's in, a, it's in an office? Is it in an office? No. 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 Is it in Working a hospital? Stone. Is it in a hospital? Uh, yes. Yes? Yes. Uh, okay. Now think about think about careers in a hospital. Occupations. Are you a doctor? Male nurse. Huh? Male nurse. Are you a nurse? No. I'm voluntary. Voluntary. Ah. Yes. Okay. Voluntary. In the hospital. Voluntary. Yes, in the hospital. You study? Are you studying? What? Do you study? Yes, yes. Where do you study? Where? Where do you study? In the university? The university, yes. I study. I study. Which, which university? Which? Uh-huh. Yes. But the name the name of the university? Um Alberto Mature. Okay. And what are you studying? What are you studying? Architecture, no, uh, um, med medicine. Medicine, yes, medicine. medicine. Okay, good. So you are going to be a doctor? Yes. Okay, all right. So he's a medicine student, okay, right now he's uh, a volunteer at the hospital. Okay, very good. Nice. You see how you get more information, right? Okay, Carla, tell us about yourself. Um, I love my career because I work with people. A lot of people think that I can read mine. Uh, almost the time they think that I always annihilate them. I am. Anal Anal Analyzar. How do Analyze. You? Analyze. Uh, them. Analyze them. Them. Uh -huh, yes. Oh my God. But I don't. 
but I don't. <laughs> oh, but I psychology. Don't. Excuse me? Psychology. Are uh, you a psychology? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Okay. So then, um, in, but you work, do you work in, uh, let's say, for schools or uh, let's say for offices, companies? Yeah. Yeah, I work in a bank. Oh, okay. Good. In a uh, human in, resources. Yeah, human resources. Human resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, people, when you need tips for an interview in a bank, okay, let's call Carla. Okay, Carla. Carla knows. Okay, he can give us some tips. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, Francisco. Francisco Javier. I think only have one Francisco. Yes. Okay, Javier, go ahead. The microphone. Sorry. Okay. okay, in my career, I like to work to other people. I like to count the products. I like to work with safety. And uh, I like to make casing in my do you like to make? What is the last one? Event casing. 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 Events. Events. Casing. Yes, events casing. Uh, mejora continua. Okay, continuous. Uh -huh. Improvement. Continu uh, Kaizen is in Jap is is a word is a word in Japanese. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I it's by heard before, but I couldn't get the meaning. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alexera uh, continues improvement. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Fine. Okay. Then are you, uh, are you enterprise administrator? Are you a business uh, administrator? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Yes, or say I I need to administrate to people and and products. But you are not a business administrator. No. Okay. Audit, auditor de calidad. I don't know how this. Okay. Uh, quality auditor. Coaching. Industrial engineering. Huh? Industrial engineering. Industrial engineer. No. Oh. No. No. Okay. Uh, engineer only. No. <laughs> uh, okay, people, help, help. Economist? Uh, yes. I'm Finance. Just... No. <laughs> Supervisor? No. Coaching? No. A coach? No, you're not a coach. 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 Uh -huh. I think Maynor knows. Minor, okay, minor. Or Pablo. <laughs> okay. I don't know, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. Um, entrepreneur. Pero tiene que ver algo con la calidad. Yes. Auditor de calidad. No. no. Engineer. No. Engineer. Robotic. Control quality supervisor? Product innovation? No. <laughs> no. Aha. Okay. Um, manager? I, I make inventories. A statement? In, in my, I make inventories in my place. Product innovation? Development. Uh, development? No. Make inventories. Inventories. Uh, gamer. No. <laughs> uh, scientific. Scientific. He works with kites. Scientific. <laughs> scientific. Yes. Robotic engineer. Robotica. Robotics engineer. <laughs> yes. Scientific. It's my hobby. Oh, Robotics is my hobby. Okay. Robotics is your hobby. Okay. My hobby. Okay. My job is administrator of warehouse. Oh, okay. So then that's a different thing. Of a warehouse in the place where you work. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. Then uh, let me see now, Pablo. 
Okay. In my career, I see many numbers, and my work is very precise. Uh, and my work are using tools, I'm using multi-tester. Multi-tester. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you electricist? Electrician? Electricist. Mm. Engineer. Electrical engineer. Engineer. testing. Civil engineer. Civil engineer. engineer. Testing engineer. Electronic. Electronic engineer. Ah, electronic engineer. Ah, electronic engineer. Yeah, because yes. you have to use the tester a lot. Okay. So this man can destroy a computer and build it again. Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, Manuel Gutierrez. Manuel. Uh, I love my job because I hear my customer find logics and custom solution, reducing costs in your freight, that your shipment reach your warehouse on time. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you can provide Javier with, this, with your services. Free manager. Which one? What? Project manager. Project manager. Logistic manager. Project, project, ma project manager or logistic manager? Uh, is assessor. Logistic. <laughs> you uh, as the uh, assess. Advisor. Advisor. Uh -huh. Advisor. You are people with that one, so you would be an advisor. But uh, which one? Uh, advisor or what? Freight advisor? Excuse me. Uh huh. Advisor, but advisor of uh, freight or shipment advisor. Maybe sales advisor? Sales, uh huh. Sales yep. advisor. Sales, sales. Oh, sales advisor. Sales. Okay. Sales. That's the one. Okay. Sales advisor. Okay. Sales. Good. That's specifically your your occupation. Okay, good. Okay, one more volunteer. One more who wants to volunteer. One says me. Who says me? Tati, Osmaro, Alan, Alejandro. Yeah. Okay, Osmaro, go, ahead. go ahead. <laughs> I love my career because uh, it's about changing people's lives through the use of technology. Okay. And my career is about automating manual process with software system. Okay. And you produce or you sell? Produce. Produce. Okay. Yeah, Are you an programmer? Programmer? Computer programmer? It's a it's a one activity. Okay, that's one activity of your career. Com computer it's programmer. A system, a system engineer. System Development. Engineer. System engineer. A system, uh, system, system engineer. Systems engineer. Okay, good. Okay, wow. So that's a good one too. So you're making our life easier then. Okay, people. Yeah. So let me just uh, go to the next one. For this, we have by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay. So we're just gonna watch this video and the explanation. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, 
do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. For he, she, it. Questions in simple present singular affirmative sentences. Okay, do you have any questions about the, um, the simple present, the information questions? No. Anybody? No. No. Okay, good. Okay, if you have any questions, that sounds good. So remember, okay, just uh, remember how to use uh, the first person in plural and the third person he, she, it, right? With works, takes. Remember, Simple present has only two forms, okay? In Spanish, we need six, okay? But in English, it's only two, work and works, and that's the present. You don't need to, to memorize or remember more words, okay? So we're going to stop here for today, and on Monday, we're going to practice the WH questions in simple present and the and also the yes no questions in simple present with do. Okay, does he, does she, do you, does she play, does she work, does she live, uh, does she cook? Okay, but in order to practice the work and works. For example, does she work in a hospital? No, she doesn't work in a hospital. Oh yes, yeah, she works in a hospital. Okay, so we're gonna practice verbs and the pronunciation in the third person, okay? And also the spelling, okay? So that's what we are going to see. Okay, people have a very nice weekend. Enjoy your Saturday and Sunday, okay? Practice English as much as you can and see you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice bye -bye. weekend. Okay, good night, nice to see you. Bye-bye.